Sock paneer. So now we have some paneer here. The paneer basically is um, homemade cheese, milk curd. You can buy them in large supermarket in the UK. Most of them have that. Just look in the Asian section of the supermarket. So go to any Asian kitchen curry and ask them for paneer and they will sell you. Um, some spinach, you need some spinach food. Single cream, we have some single cream here. Uh, a jar of single cream. And some chopped onions here. A couple of onions chopped. Crushed garlic. Now you can use tomato paste. I uh, got some tomato paste, or you can use tomato puree. Tomato puree comes in a tube, you can use that. You can, if you like, you can, if you don't have that, you can use plum, plum tomatoes. And you need some milk, and that's it. That's all your ingredients for sack paneer. And obviously some visual to sizzle garlic. And you need it's about uh, a teaspoon or two teaspoons of mixed curry powder. If you want to put any other spice, you can do it. But that's about it. Alright, so I'm going to tip some vegetables now. That was about it. Okay, that's about what? Large couple of teaspoons, sorry, tablespoon of vegetable oil. Let's get this warmed up a bit. Now, I will dip in the garlic, fresh garlic. Let it turn sort of slight golden brown. Right, as you can see, it's done. Now I'm going to tip some. Paste, tomato paste, not too much. Not really. Not really. Normally, what the chef will do in the restaurant, so they will put some base gravy, but we don't have the base gravy, so that's why I'm using chopped onions. And one of these, uh, one day I'll probably show you how to make the base gravy. So we're going to simmer that um, onion and paste, tomato paste, for a few minutes. You 
can add a slight water if you like. But uh, I'm sure you can leave it as it is. I'm going to add some uh, mixed, roasted, uh, sorry, mixed curry powder. It's about two, two large tablespoons, I guess. That's one. Add a bit more. There we go. We need to cook it for a few minutes. Just added a bit of small amount of water so that the spice cooks properly. So let's do that for a few minutes. And when that's cooking, I can tip. I'm going to take slightly a bit of milk. I just put a lid on so it cooks, um, speed up the cooking process.
All right, so I put the cream, a bit of milk, extra milk, and and that's it. And the paneer. Now I leave it to cook for well, at least about ten minutes or so, and uh, hopefully that should be ready. You can also add a bit of salt if you like, slightly small amount of salt. If you like. And your paneer will be ready. Paneer masala. Sad paneer masala will be ready. So let's tip the, tip the lid in and leave it to cook for about 10 minutes or so. So everyone, I'm finished cooking my sad paneer. So I'm going to, do, to take off the lid here. And as you can see, Look at this lovely glowing taste. So we'll turn off the gas. And here we go. Our second is finished cooking. Now ready to serve. Thank you very much for watching this video. And all of my other videos. Here we are, our second is ready to serve. Thank you very much for watching this video and all of my other videos. Please hit the like and subscribe button. Thank you very much indeed.